Well, hello. Today we'll run a short update about what happened to the car in the last two months. One of the friends asked, asked me or suggested I should do one. So as you can see, there is no engine and no transmission inside. That's because we are currently working on engine swap. Well, the transmission itself is being rebuilt because we, we thought it we went that far it would be a shame not to check if, that's, if everything is fine with it so this is the old engine and this is the new one this is a little bit bigger 1.9 liters uh, direct injection so the timing belt is new I changed the system of alternator and water pump pulleys so it's now it's single belt driven before it was two belts and one belt was going around the engine mount so if you wanted to change the belt you actually needed to remove the engine mount so it's not too convenient the injection pump is from the old 1.6 I needed to find the bracket that it's not going straight but in an angle because it interferes with the clutch, clutch controls as well uh, the, as the clutch itself it's new the pressure plate is not new, but the clutch disc is it's new. Uh, I had some issues with this engine mount because one of the holes was rusted and it didn't have any bite. At first I tapped a little bit bigger one, but then I broke it and in the end I welded the, the nut and I don't know if it's gonna hold or if it's gonna break, but so far it looks pretty, pretty okay. Uh, meantime, I was working on starter because our car was starting but sometimes you need to click at the relay like 10 times to get it spinning and apparently what happened is the contact block is a little bit damaged one of the springs that pushes the brushes to the commutator is gone and one of the brush holders is as you can see is broken as well so uh, I bought a new one today but it's apparently from a different model so try to ex exchange it tomorrow to, to a proper one Meantime, uh, I started working on wiring, it's a pain in the ass, but uh, I tidied up this side so it's really neat now. And uh, oh, I prepared the, the glow box cable to be installed, as well as I routed uh, three more cables from inside, it's actually four wires. The one, the white one is signal cable for the gauges. One is one thicker uh, wire, it's four, I think it's four square millimeters for anti fog lights, and the other one for, for extra lights, uh, as well as inside. You can see some panels are removed, but I installed the gauges and they are kind of working. See that the oil pressure is going crazy because it's not connected anywhere, as well, it, it has lightning. So it's pretty fancy. Uh, I found a way to connect the extra lights and anti fog lights. Our anti fog light is actually double double function, so you can uh, first in the middle section, let's say it, it, it connects the front lights, and in the bottom one it connects both front and and, and rear lights. But by default our car had no front lights and I couldn't find the cable that would go to the front. So I need to root one. And extra lights will be connected to the switch that actually activated the rear window defroster function. But since we don't use it anymore and it's broken in our window, I will just use the switch. In this case I, will, I won't have any you know extra switches on the on the dashboard everything will still look at least in this place default I'm not talking about the radio in passenger side uh, on my plans is also USB charger somewhere here and there should be a place for CB radio that we actually got some one company it's RRS I think Yes, RRS, they donated it for us and it's so far it's the only thing that's been donated to our trip. Alright guys, see you next time.